This week I thought I'd talk to you about this. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Yeah, you do realise that's a pair of scissors, mate. I see you've played knifey scissors before then. Honestly, you can't get the staff. So, the L1A1 SLR bayonet. No, not the real one. This is, in fact, a airsoft safe one. And no, it's not rubber cast. This is 3D printed, which means that I can have a nice flexible blade, but a nice hard hilt and a working mechanical latch system, which means once it's on the rifle, it will stay on the rifle until you want it to come off your rifle. So here is my personal uh, SLR with my personal SLR bayonet on it. And I'm now holding the weight, I'm covering it with high now. I'm now holding the weight of the SLR by my bayonet until I push the button and off it comes. Which I think is quite neat because there's nothing worse than attaching your imitation bayonet to bayonet charge someone, sprinting across some open ground only to find your bayonet is missing and uh, that's not being able to bayonet them. I'm really pushing this whole stabby stabby thing, aren't I? So let's run over this quickly. I will preface this by saying this is probably not 100% accurate, although I'd say it's pretty close and I'd say it's definitely an inspired piece. So I wanted a, a bayonet for my SLR just to kind of complete the look. Um, and I know there are some rubber cast ones out there, but I thought, hey, I have a 3D printer, why not try and 3D print one? So I went and did some research and I stumbled across the Imperial War Museum page. And on the Imperial War Museum page, they have a lovely photo of a early pattern L1A1 bayonet. And they have all the measurements for the blade and the overall length, which was really useful. So I used that information and took a bit of my own uh, engineering license, I say, as opposed to artistic license, to uh, design this uh, into a 3D printable design. So I'll just run over, it's made of six 3D printed parts and a couple of screws and a spring. So you have a flexible blade. Then moving back we have what I call my, my barrel lug. I guess it's effectively a cross guard really for your uh, bayonet. Then you have a clamshell design, so there's two pieces here of uh, your hilt. So at the back we have this nice little lug piece I've designed that's just designed to hold the back together a bit better. And we also have our latch design and what's great about this is it's designed so you only have to push it to release it when you're attaching it to the rifle it is designed to just slide on and uh, move out the way as you put it on which uh, I think is quite a nice little feature uh, I've also taken the liberty of putting my logo into the hill there uh, I should say everything apart from the blade is printed in something called PETG which is a nice strong hardware in plastic uh, you, you've come into contact with it before. Most milk bottles and food safe plastics will be made out of some form of PETG. Not all, but milk bottles definitely a PETG. So I've been showing off this one working with my King Arms SLR back there. Now, uh, luckily I have a good friend who has an Ares SLR, so I sent him one of my prototypes uh, and he has successfully test fitted it to the Ares. So these will happily fit the King Arms and the Ares, which might even mean they will fit the real ones. I unfortunately don't have a real SLR to test that on. These are going to be available for purchasing. So if you want one, jump on over to my Facebook page uh, and drop me a message and I'll sort you out with one of these. They're going to cost you £30 for this. Um, that includes shipping. If you're not in the UK, uh, the shipping prices might vary slightly, so the overall price might vary. But I'm going to try and keep it as low as possible. Uh, if there is interest, uh, after I've shipped out the initial batch, I could possibly do custom hilts. We've got tons of space on this side where I can put maybe initials or a very basic logo. It can't be anything too complex. Again, that will be a slight extra cost because I have to design that part for you. So, if you're interested, jump on over to the Facebook page. It should be in the um, description below and uh, drop me a message. Thank you all for watching this far if you have. Um, and join me in listening to me talk about 3D printing yet again. And this is actually the first product to hit the market of mine. Even though it's the latest one designed. So, on that bombshell, adios. Oh, also, one more thing. Um, we just hit 300 subs, like, yesterday, or two days ago, if you're watching this on the Friday. 
I'm honestly, I'm I'm still blown away by it. Um, it's a hundred subs in two months. That's either the channel is starting to properly grow or you're all bored with uh, lockdown. Uh, hopefully, it's over soon and we can all go out and pew pew again. Uh, only when it's safe to. I'm thinking maybe when I hit a big milestone, uh, I might do some slightly bigger giveaway. Maybe. Who knows? You're still here? The, the video's over. It's done. Go, go home. Oh wait, before you do, um, instead, why don't you consider watching one of my other videos, or even uh, subscribing on the link down below.